Mexican business leaders have called on the federal government to regain order at its southern border with recent migrant crossings and the negative effect on borderland businesses continues to increase with the recent suspension of rail operations in the El Paso area. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Heriberto Perez has the story. Mexican business leaders say this measure by CBP is to put pressure on the Mexican federal government to take action on the migrant situation. The main issue is that they know this will keep happening in 2024. Entonces, pues es un fenómeno que si el gobierno federal no lo quiere controlar, no tiene voluntad de controlarlo. The president of the National Chamber of Commerce in Juarez, Rogelio Ramos, said immigration is currently a phenomenon that if the Mexican government doesn't want to control it or don't have the willpower to do it, border cities like Juarez will have to keep dealing with it. President Ramos also said after three days of the suspension of rail operations, they don't have numbers on how much is being lost yet. But what they know is that all trains supposed to cross through El Paso and Eagle Pass have been sent to other border ports of entry. ¿Qué es lo que, lo que trae el tren? Pues trae granos, trae carros eh, ya completamente armados, trae... Ramos said the common cargo trains cross to the U.S. are objects like green products, armed cars and vehicles, American manufactured products going back to the U.S., among others. He also said all merchandises will eventually be crossed through other border cities. The current losses they are reporting are in logistics and time, more than monetary losses. Obligadamente se tiene que restablecer esto con acuerdos, va. And President Ramos was saying businesses will wait for U.S. and Mexican authorities to get into an agreement to restore rail operations soon because they need to reestablish crossings under certain agreements. Reporting in Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Pérez, ABC7.